Hey everyone, it's me, Charlie here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Before I start, sorry, uh, you might notice another new drawing here. I finally did Aurora's. Looks a little strange. Uh, it's a little chubby. <laughs> but um, I put it in the middle, move Lux Ray up here, and I'm going to have Infernape over here, which is going to be cool. And then maybe I'll have... I've got a whole wall all the way up there to put drawings of. So I can just have heaps of drawings of really cool Pokemon that I like up there, which would look really cool in the background. So yeah, anyway, today I'm doing something that I've done before, but I was going to retake again, because it's been a while since I've done it, and every time I've retaken it, I've basically just got the same results. Today, I'm on Pottermore with a fresh new account, and today we're going to be finding out my Hogwarts house, the official way through, uh, through Pottermore, which, like I said, I've done before, but, you know, it may have changed. Anyway, enough stuffing around, we're going to hop straight into this now. So I'm going to try and answer these questions as honestly as I can. Uh, forest or river? First question. Um, I feel like river is better because, like, forest is kind of creepy. Uh, you enter an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The silver leaf tree bearing golden apples. The fat red toadstools that appear to be talking. The bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling. Sorry guys, if you can hear that wind, it's pretty windy here today. The statue of an old woman with a strange twinkling eye. I think probably the, probably the tree. That just sounds the coolest. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition. Uh, very cool skill. Uh, that would be very useful actually. Transfiguration, broomstick flying would also be pretty good. Hexes and jinxes. All about magical creatures and how to befriend slash care for them. Secrets about the castle, or every area of magic I can. Actually, this kind of includes them all, really. Why not? I feel like that. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love? No, that's too strong. Would not use that. Jesus, that's a power no one should have. Glory. Eh. Wisdom. Power. I think wisdom. Yeah, the others are just kind of... I don't know. I uh, don't seem very appealing. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh, I've actually thought about this one, and as you can see, there's a lot of answers down the side, so let's see. Tabby Cat, Siamese Cat, Ginger Cat, Black Cat, uh, White Cat, Tawny Owl, ooh, Screech Owl, Brown Owl, oh, there's a Snowy Owl, there's a bunch of different types of owls, which is really hard because I was going to pick an owl, but... It's going to be much more specific than that. I'm not going to pick a toad, unfortunately. Dragon toad sounds cool, though. Like, <laughs> like that? Harley Quinn toad. Uh, three toad tree toad. Wow, try to say that seven times fast. Interesting name for a toad. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go with either the snowy owl or the tawny owl. Let's see. Tawny owl. Tawny owl looks quite cool. And then what was the other one? Snowy owl. So, uh, Hedwig is a snowy owl, isn't it? Isn't he? Sorry. He or she. I actually don't know the gender of Hedwig. Hey, whoa, what, what the hell? Who turned off the lights? Someone messing with me? Get on the ground! Who are you? You heard me? Get on the ground! Hold on, hold on. What did I do wrong? You know exactly what you did, boy. Oh, I, I swear you got the wrong this person. Please, officer, I, I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello Australia, and welcome to Channel 7 News. I'm Don Levin, reporting live from the studio. Tonight, the breaking news that is sweeping the nation. Charlie, a young boy from New South Wales, more commonly known by his YouTube pseudonym, Dr. W42. Uh, sorry, could you please scroll up the board, Patricia? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Has just today been detained and arrested by the AHPA, the Australian Harry Potter Association. More details will come as we receive them. But from what we know currently, Charlie has been arrested and has been sent directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. According to a viewer from his YouTube channel, who in this scenario we will refer to as a witness, informs us that Charlie failed to identify the gender of Harry Potter himself's beloved, late, rest in peace, pet Snowy Owl Hedwig Hedwigson. Wait, is, is that actually his name? Well, I actually didn't know that. What did you say, boy? Wait, no, 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 please, no, I swear, spare me. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the Tawny Owl. Bit more interesting, bit more original. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. 
troll in the dungeon. <laughs> Except it's not in the dungeon. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the Trolls Club if you could? Firstly, a nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. Then, Dreams. student records going back 1,000 years. Finally, a mysterious handbook full of strange... Hmm. Knowing what dragon pox is would help. <laughs> like, it might not even kill people. Like, is it, like, a pox that affects dragons? Or is it just called dragon pox and it affects, like, humans? And, like, is it dangerous? Is it gonna kill people? I don't know. I'd probably go this one. Uh, the student records, because I know for sure what that is and that's gonna be useful. Then the dragon pox. Then the strange ruins or whatever. Which nightmare would frighten you most? Ooh. Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no hand or footholds. Heights is like one of my main fears. Also the dark, I know, babyish. Uh, have you seen the trailer for Lights Out? By the way, it looks awesome. So that one's definitely possible. An eye at the keyhole of the dark windowless room in which you are locked. I'd be more worried about the fact that I'm locked in a dark windowless room than someone looking through the keyhole, waking up to find that neither your friends or, or your family have any idea who you are. That's tough. Being forced to speak in such a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. Sounds like a uh, town of fox. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to go for the heights, but waking up and having your family and friends not know who you are, that one's really tough as well. That would definitely be my second choice. Heads or tails? Now, I don't know if anyone ever does this, um, but I always pick heads. Don't know why. I just never pick anything else. Oh, is that it? Finally! Yes! It took 3,000 times, and I finally got goddamn Ravenclaw. Thank you. So hold on, let me just read a bit about Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. You probably know that some of Ravenclaw's most renowned members include Gilderoy Lockhart, who we hate, and Luna Lovegood. Luna Lovegood is awesome. Uh, but did you know that Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts house ghost? Or that Ravenclaw's common room boasts the most stunning view of the castle grounds? Did not know these things. Bunch of famous Ravenclaw characters, traits, intelligent, wise, sharp, witty. I'm pretty happy with that, gotta say. Ravenclaw's always been my favourite house, and I was so disappointed the first time when I didn't get into it, and now I am. Thank God. <laughs> that's awesome. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the first bit of this video. I'm gonna make a second part to this, where I probably do a Patronus, which the next one I'll do. So yeah, I'll see you guys back here uh, in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. No, I swear. Spare me. Ah! That's gonna be so good.